This video is fun with snap blocks, and it is a very short intro to the snap programming language. I was at a Python dojo recently, and some students mentioned they had been introduced to the snap programming language and that they had a lot of fun with it. I looked into it and found out Snap is similar to the Scratch programming language. I had used Scratch to introduce programming to students when I taught, and I also worked with Scratch with my grandchildren. Snap, however, has many more programming concepts than Scratch. It's super easy to get started with Snap. Simply go to the Snap website at the University of Berkeley and start programming. Click on Run Snap Now. Let me do one thing here to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to get to the zoom setting and set that to 150. So we come over here and get us a sprite. And it's called Costumes. Come down here. And I'm going to get a ball. And basically do a Hello World program. Import. And cancel get out of here. And so I'm going to get some control whenever the green flag is clicked. Start the program just like Scratch. I'm going to get a forever block. And then I'm going to go down here and get an if else block. Put that inside the forever block. I'm going to go to pen up here. Clear. I'm going to go to the sensing block. And right here it says touching mouse pointer. But I'm going to put that right here and set that to edge. I'm going to have the pen write hello world. Hello world. I'm going to go and turn it 15 degrees. Put that in here. And I'm just going to pick a number here. Minus 15, 2, 15. Go back to motion. If on edge, bounce. I will bounce off the wall after it says hello world and do an else then collect these blocks then run the program the ball bounces off the wall and says hello every time it runs into the world to save your program go to the document icon and then click save or save as Click Save As. You get your choice, cloud or computer. To save it to the cloud, you have to sign in. But I haven't created a user at the University of Berkeley. So I'll just click on computer and then just type in Hello World. Click Save. And if you want to know where it is, it's in the downloads directory. Open File Manager, open the File Manager, and look in Downloads, and there it is. Snap is written in JavaScript, so you can also use Snap offline with your Chrome or Firefox web browser. Simply download it from its GitHub page and extract the zip file to whichever directory you want. Here we are at the berkeley.edu offline page, and this is right here is the link to the GitHub page, so I simply right-click and copy it. Then I will put it in the browser window, paste, hit enter. Now there are two copies of source code you can get, the zip file or the tar file. I'm going to download the zip file, and of course, since this is Ubuntu, then my zip file goes to my downloads directory, and it's downloading. Completed 142 megabytes, 
Then I go to my file manager, open that up. Downloads, here it is. Extract here. If I want to use Snap, I simply go to snap.html, double click or single click, however you've got it set up. And there I go. And there is one caveat here. If I want to go look at my sprites, which are my costumes, you'll see that I'm using the file manager instead of something from Snap. And I can scroll down here and let me look for ball because that's what we had before. And there's the ball. And that's it. So you can use Snap both online and offline. It's a very handy tool, especially if you're trying to learn some programming techniques. To help you get started with Snap, I found some Snap tutorials on the internet and include a link below.